If you've been following my channel, you know I've created a browser extension that lets you save task, web pages, and time entries straight into your ClickUp account. Now this is called Save to ClickUp and it's available on any browser. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you the brand new features that I've added to Save to ClickUp. Stay till the second half of the video because the first half is gonna be a quick tour of the stuff you might already know about Save to ClickUp, which is the ability to save web pages, tasks or time entries and capture screenshots and append them to your ClickUp tasks. But in the second half, I'll be talking about the brand new features I've added, which are called ClickUp Boosters. They let you automatically track your time in ClickUp or improve your whole ClickUp user interface by removing the features that you might not need. Now, if you're ready for a full tour of Save to ClickUp, let's get started. So let's get started by connecting Save to ClickUp. As a reminder, Save to ClickUp can be installed from your Google Chrome Web Store, for example, and I'm Google Chrome right here, and I'm just gonna connect it. So I'll click Connect ClickUp, and then it's gonna prompt me with the accounts to connect. And from there, I'm gonna pick the workspaces to connect and click Connect Workspaces, which is gonna bring me back to the workspace selection, and it should be loading the workspaces that I've just connected. They're right here. And I'm gonna pick this one called Sandbox Apsys and click select workspace. So now I can just look up all the lists that are in my ClickUp account. So every list that's appearing right here is available in my ClickUp account over here. Say I wanna access the capture list in the GTD 2.5 folder. All I'm gonna to have to do is get back to save to ClickUp here and pick the capture list. And from here, I can just do something pretty simple, which is saving a task that comes from my mind. For example, I'm browsing the web and then I'm reminded to maybe add a new feature to save to click up. I'm just adding a description and maybe I can add some more info like add ability to save tasks and then add ability to capture screenshots. These two features are already in the tool, but just for the sake of this example, I'm just adding them here. And what I could do if I wanted is add a screenshot of the current web page to attach it to my ClickUp task that I'm going to create. So I'm going to capture the visible area for now, and it's just captured the web page, and I have it right here. And can just add a comment: "Do not forget." So now all that's left is clicking save to ClickUp, and it should save that task straight into ClickUp. And if I open it up from here. I can see it appearing in ClickUp. So as you can see, it's very minimal, blazing fast, and it lets you capture tasks quickly. Whether you want to save up a name, description, add a comment, and capture a web page screenshot. This is pretty cool, but I thought it was even cooler to be able to capture some online pages and their whole web page content and add some context like a screenshot or a comment from yours if you find an article that you're interested about, for example. So say you want to read about this article inside the AI and there's a little bit of content right here and I want to capture a whole screenshot of it. I'm going to open up Save to ClickUp and in here, instead of creating a task, I'm going to save a web page. And as you can see, it's capturing the whole web page article content. And if I want to, I can just capture a full page screenshot this time. So let's capture a full page screenshot and all it's doing is it's going through the whole web page, capturing a long screenshot, and then I can add a comment and say like, to read tomorrow, for example. I'm adding a little comment and I'll add a little emoji and then we can click save to ClickUp. This web page is now captured as a ClickUp task straight into my ClickUp account. And if I click open in ClickUp, it's right here. So you can see we have the article name, we have the link in the task name as well, and we have the content of the article. And if I wanna read a visual version of it, all I have to do is open that up in ClickUp and I can read it later at any time and go through it that way. So as you can see, Save to ClickUp is super cool when it comes to task capture, but it also lets you save web pages. Now these were the two first features that we've launched with Save to ClickUp, but you can now track your time from anywhere in your browser as well. So say I'm gonna spend time on this article, on the founder, Alice, and just listen to the podcast or do some research 
for some sort of work. I'm going to go into the article and in here, I'm going to reload my tasks and that article should be here because I've already saved it earlier. So now it's a ClickUp task and I'm going to track time on this article. So I'm going to click start tracker and then I can just say what I'm working on. So I can say client research on AI and then I can just toggle on the fact that it's billable if I wanted to and I can start working on the article or listening to the content of the article, for example, just exploring, browsing the web, doing whatever I want, looking up other articles. Maybe this is interesting and related to my research. So everything I'd be doing online, I can just save it up. And once I'm happy enough, spent the time I needed on that article and the time tracking should be finished, I can just reopen save to click up and it'll have saved the time that I've spent on that project. Right here is pretty fast. I've been spending only a minute. But obviously, as you're working, you're spending a longer amount of times. Your hours can be tracked and then you can turn them on as billable, add a description and click save to click up again. And that time tracking record is now into the task. So if I open it in ClickUp and if I go into track time, I can see I have a minute saved onto this article, it's billable and even have the description. All I had to do is toggle on time tracking in save to click up. Now you knew about all these features, although the brand new ones, and I think that's pretty cool, is the ability to capture full page screenshots from anywhere in your browser and save it into your click up tasks. But all of this was just polished and refined, but it was already there into save to click up. But now in this brand new release, I've added what I call ClickUp boosters. And if we were to open save to ClickUp from the ClickUp context this time, it will open a different UI. And in this UI, you can toggle on and off some cool features. So if you wanted to, you could toggle on the ability to start the timer when opening a task, the ability to start a timer from the ClickUp inbox, or stop the timer when closing a task. So I'm just gonna leave on the ability to just start a timer when opening a task and click save. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna reload ClickUp. And from now on, each time I'm working on a task, so if I'm working on this, for example, as soon as I open it up, it's gonna start the timer for me. It's gonna click play for me without me having to do anything. And as you can see, this timer is on, and I can just keep working on it, navigate my ClickUp account and do whatever I want. That timer will be still rolling. Now, say I wanted it to stop as soon as I quit the task I'm working on. Maybe because I don't have to navigate the ClickUp context. I just open up my tasks, browse the web, do my thing, work. And then as soon as I'm done, I just quit the task and I want the timer to stop. All I'm going to have to do is add this feature on the ability to stop the timer when closing a task and click save. And now all I'm going to have to do is get back to that. I'm going to stop it for now. And let's say I'm working on this this time, meaning founder. Okay. And let's open it up and now it's tracking time. So it's adding that time log again. Let's say I'm working on it. I've been like browsing the web, doing my research, looking up different articles and I'm done. So I'm going to get back to click up and this time I'm going to quit the task and it's going to stop the timer as well. So as you can see, the timer is not appearing anymore. And that feature that allows you to stop time tracking when you leave tasks has been activated. One final feature when it comes to time tracking is the ability to start the timer on the click up inbox. And that way you can start timers from task context, of course, but if you wanted, you could also go into your ClickUp inbox and let's see here, I have a task, for example, I'm going to open it up right here. And it's also starting the timer as well, as you can see here. And as soon as I clear it, it stopped the timer because the ability to stop the timer when closing a task has been toggled on as well. So you can play with these features and have some sort of semi-automated time tracking in ClickUp. It's not fully automated because you still need to open up the task for ClickUp to know which context you're working on. But as soon as you open it up, you can go to your thing. You don't even have to click play. You can forget about that part and it will speed up your workflow when it comes to time tracking. And as soon as you're done, just quit the task and that time has been logged for that project.
So that's the first part of the Save to ClickUp boosters. Now, second part, which is also pretty neat, is the ability to have a more minimal UI if you wanted to. If I open Save to ClickUp and I go into Hide Features, I can hide some specific ClickUp features. So I can make my tasks less distracting, my whole interface less distracting, so the toolbar and the sidebar, and hide AI features if I wanted to and if I'm not subscribed to ClickUp AI. So this is going to make ClickUp a little bit less cluttered, a little bit more minimal, and I'm pretty excited about this for my own use because I've been using ClickUp for years now and I spent countless hours on this tool. So I kind of know what I use the most and what I use the least. And my hope is that users also have the same needs. So if I were to turn on task focus mode, for example, let's open up a task. And as you can see, there's a bunch of extra features. Like if we close that, we have some extra minimize tasks, switch layout, the share button, things I don't really use. And I found it to be a little bit clunky in the ClickUp UI. So if I were to turn on task focus mode, just let's disable this. I'm just going to turn on task focus mode and click save and let's see how it looks. Straight up, I have way less items here on the top right, as you can notice, and it's a little bit more minimal. Of course, it's not huge of a difference, and I didn't want to make a feature that would ruin your ClickUp user experience and remove some key features like custom fields or subtasks or whatever, but it removes the checklist, which I didn't find super useful for me at least. And it removes a bunch of options from here, from the top right. So it's a little bit more minimal and more polished, in my opinion. You can make the tasks more minimal, but you can also make the whole user interface more minimal by toggling on interface focus mode. And I'm turning that on this time. And as you can see now, we have way less items here in the toolbar and also in the sidebar. And this also changes the UI in ClickUp version 3.0 which you'll probably see. So if I were to open a workspace that has ClickUp 3.0, the UI is a little bit different. And as you can see here, for example, in the home, we have a little bit less items here. It's less cluttered. So these focus modes are meant to work on both ClickUp versions. It can work in ClickUp version 3.0 and 4.0, which is soon to be released. So right now I'm in ClickUp 4.0. Let's actually keep using this one and I'm going to hide AI features. So say you don't really need AI, you don't want to see all of these AI features, the agents. So say you do the web design agency list and we open up a task, for example, you don't want to see the ask AI, the edit and improve features and brain found similar tasks, things like that. If we want to remove this from the UI, simply because we're not subscribed to ClickUp AI, we can with removing the AI features right here. And I'm not saying ClickUp AI is not a great tool. I think it's really promising and it's doing a lot of improvements, especially with what ClickUp Brain can do and the ability to centralize your project information in ClickUp documents and have them being called out. I'm aware that a lot of companies are not using ClickUp AI yet. And having this removed from your user experience is obviously a declutter and you can focus more on what matters, which is your task management. So I'm hiding AI features right here and clicking save again. And this time, as you can see, I have way less AI items. I mean, I don't have them at all. We've removed the AI like tasks. When we open the editor, we have less items like improve and edit right here. And in here, we don't have the AI agents or stuff like that. So the experience is way more minimal and it applies obviously to the other interface. If you're still on ClickUp version three. So I'm opening this one. And as you can see right here, we don't have the AI items on top anymore. If we were to open that up, we don't have the AI toolbar anymore. So the task is much more minimal. It's using less AI features. And obviously this is better for the user experience if you're not using AI. So those ClickUp boosters are quite cool. I'm really proud and happy about it. I want to add a few more I'm thinking of what could be useful. If you have ideas of ClickUp boosters, leave your ideas down. I'd love to know what you think could make the ClickUp user experience better for the average user that doesn't need all the features. I'm thinking of the ability to automatically select tasks in bulk or things like that. I have a lot of ideas in my mind, but I don't know what to release yet. So if you're interested about a specific feature, feel free to leave a comment 
tell me what could be cool to improve Safe to ClickUp. Now, Safe to ClickUp is completely free. It's a way for me to showcase what Upsys can do. Obviously, we don't do custom extensions for client. That's not our main business model, but we help companies improve their ClickUp user experience. And in my opinion, that's part of it. So I'm starting to even showcase Safe to ClickUp to some of my clients, telling them, if you're doing a lot of time tracking, maybe you want to enable the auto time tracking features and have that into your ClickUp workspace so that everyone in your team can just open up a task and will just start tracking the time automatically. Now, if you want to give Safe to ClickUp a try, it's time to go for it. You can go to safetoclickup.com, pick your favorite browser. If it's Google Chrome, which is what most users would use in my opinion, you can just go to the Chrome Web Store, add it to Chrome, leave a review if you're happy about it, and just let me know what you think about Safe to ClickUp. I'm excited to know what you think of this new version. The philosophy of Safe to ClickUp is just to improve your ClickUp user experience in a very fast, snappy, minimal way. I don't want to keep it too complicated, too cluttered. I want a simple tool that lets you create tasks, save web pages, track time, or simply improve your experience inside of the ClickUp UI. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time, stay productive.